What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 369, 372. Things are getting crazy in Thriller Bark. I'm excited. Remember, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes as well as the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out the Patreon. Links are down below. We're live on Twitch watching all these reactions. So come on over and follow twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. It's always a vibe. And then please check out the other social medias. I'd appreciate a follow. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter all at dapper darius i'm not gonna waste any more time one piece episode 369 let's do it all right here we go starting with 369 let's do it and his shadow can just fly like that that is it's so broken like physical attacks like honestly blackbeard might be able to handle him just suck him in and negate his devil fruit powers but any physical attacker is so weak against that shadow you're you're in a jam. You're in a sticky situation. And we got the gang still dealing with ores. I know Zoro said this is a perfect time to test out the strength of his Wazamono, right? Shusui. Speak of the devil. I cannot blame you at all, my friend. considerably heavier okay that was a deflection right there all right typical 108 pound phoenix it's a much bigger because of the weight and the power of shusui oh i like that He needs to refine it a little bit. See, I want to know more about Ryuma too. Way to make him trip up on himself. I love the animation for the things Zoro does like that. He's going to deflect. He's going to direct his falling except on you. Kind of smart from Ors. Ooh. Disappears into the dirt, into the smoke. Hit him with another 108 pound Phoenix. He dodged it again? Or's got some good reaction time. True. All deceptive practices of fighting deceptive power holders exactly in a fair fight luffy comes on top nine times out of ten but in these he makes a great point then you guys are literally turned to dust he makes some valid rebuttals mori is back up in the tower Uma is confronting Moria. Oh, wow. He already made it up here. So he's the only one of the seven who actually listen to the government and do what they want. Mihawk, Doflamingo, Crocodile, the rest of them just kind of do what they want. Left behind by Crocodile, right? So who is it going to be? I know Lafitte said he wanted it to be Blackbeard, right? Blackbeard's going to be one of the seven warlords. Oh my. Because he wasn't trying to make a name for himself earlier. Interesting. I like how Blackbeard's on his own come up, like right on par with Luffy, you know? You get a little flashback to the Blackbeard VAs. He joined after proving his strength. This is getting interesting. Blackbeard's officially the, the seventh warlord. They're not. They're, feel, they're fearful they're going to need to 
<laughs> they're gonna need to fill another spot. Yeah, Moria, they're afraid you're gonna get your ass whooped. Wow, he hates that. That is such a slight on his pride and his honor as how strong he is and him being one of the warlords, you know? I wouldn't say effortlessly. You put in a considerable amount of effort to do this. I guess technically it was your subordinates and not you yourself, but still. This is getting very interesting. Usopp's got that sniper vision. Is he in ours? That's crazy. That's literally like a Kingdom Hearts boss I feel like I'd be fighting. No joke. I'll be. Is my tummy a cockpit? <laughs> he still has aspects of Luffy's personnel. Luffy would say that. Roar, I'm a giant. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Horse bomber. So this is quite the interesting predicament. We have to defeat Ors and Moria at the same time. I forgot we still have um Brooke. He was in the kitchen. Okay. Oh. That Brooke? Yes, it is. With the salt. Okay. Now this is seeming much more doable with his light and agile body. That was quick. I am your Brooke. All right, this is the next episode. This is 370. Yo! Look at the gang already. What do you have? Some sort of. All right, let's see it. The laughs are so funny. Thank you, Brooke. I appreciate your assistance. Oil with a little fire combo. A super sized Phoenix. Firebird. That was a good little combo attack off rip. All right, little chopper Zoro assist. Launch him super high in the air. Making sushi out of the building. Jenga cannon. Launch pieces of it, bro. That is sick. That is sick. He said, get that contraption ready. What contraption are we talking about? Kuwagatawa? Or Kuwa Kuwagata? That's the biggest slingshot I've ever seen. Special attack, Iron Man Comet. He is made of iron. He is himself a cannonball. Bro, Ors and his dodging capabilities is insane. God damn. Oh, wow. He hit low-key ores. That was a clean-ass dodge. I won't even try to lie. Nami to save the day. Nami would be a great addition. Shout out to some Thunderbolt tempo. Shout out the girl. Yeah, how would he reach that from the current spot he's at? Ah, 
How did he just stretch? Do zombies get the devil fruits of the people they have? Or is that just... Is that more of a hogback thing that he did that to him? Oh, thank the Lord we have Robin. Robin has saved so many people with her power. What the hell? How did he stretch? Explain that to me, Moria, right now. Is it the devil fruit or is it hogback? I mean, they wouldn't built in stretching to him because they wouldn't expect to have... I don't know. Yeah, it's literally Luffy times 100. Where is Luffy? The Rolling Pirates. Captain Marriage Proposal Lola? Are they genuinely trying to help us out? Is that actually Lola? I mean, it sounds like her, and he has the double. She has the double swords. That is Lola. That's crazy. Cause that makes sense. Why her shadow is literally her. She's the marriage proposal captain. Over four thousand. You can catch the shadow that comes out of a purified zombie. So that's not his shadow. They're just shoving a shadow into him. Does he then turn into a Mario and turn into a vessel for that shadow or no? Or does he retain his personality and everything about him, but he just now gets a temporary shadow? Whose shadow did we just put in Luffy? What the fuck is going on? A skilled navy swordsman? So they get shadow buffs. Going Kaioken except with shadows. Well, that, that's one thing he does have. It would be willpower. 10 minutes. Okay. We have... We had a time limit before of 30 minutes. Now we're down to 10 minutes. They're gonna hold him down and just... <laughs> this should be very interesting. Shadow Luffy? A hundred shadows? You're not bigger? We're gonna have giant shadow infused Luffy versus giant shadow infused Luffy. Okay. Kaioken Shadow Luffy. Oh. Okay. okay. All right. This is the next episode, 371. Ors is now exponentially stronger that he has Luffy's devil fruit. Oh, he's going to hit him with a spear. <coughs> Bro. Mm-hmm. So he's not really stretching his body, he's stretching his shadow, which forcibly stretches his body. That's a broken loophole of his power. He literally has limitless control over this ginormous giant. 
Now we're just gonna roll over everything. Yep. Ultimate destruction. I get you. I get you. We have the triple teamwork on the launch right now. It's not just Usa. Robin's gonna add her momentum as well with her hands. And what's Nami gonna do with the thunder? Ooh, for the twisting. I like that. Through the lightning cloud. Lightning bone sword. That was sick. That was a great teamwork attack. That was a great work by Brooke. I love when he does his up slash with his two sword. Ors is broken. Hitting cool team up combos. Just to get knocked down by a bat. Oh. If he didn't stretch, that means something's going on with his shadow. What is Robin doing? Handy. Yes. Thank you, Robin. Again, I love her and her power. Choke this boy out. Look at how long of a neck he got. Long neck ass. So he's going to force his shadow out of or shadow. So we can't manipulate him into stretching now. But he's going to send his bats over, which is also very annoying. Ooh, little arm shields. God damn. Choke this boy out. Ooh. So can him and his so The clutch didn't actually twist his neck She twisted the shadow's neck That's so broken His shadow ability is insane And she's gonna try to snip he's gonna try to snip her shadow oh hell no not only can he put that in a corpse but it's gonna knock her out for at least a little bit luffy someone save the day i don't want this to happen to robin oh i do like the reflection in the in the scissors though no Oh, you just pissed Sanji off more than we've seen in a minute. Hitting him with a devil foot. Damn, it just goes right through the shadows, man. Not even Diablo Jambe can do anything. He's so broken. Robin is such a useful power when it comes to fighting and just utility in general. So that's such a big hit for us. We got to get that shadow back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Reet a sortie. A deflection. He was able to at least divert it a little bit to not be right on them. Great job, Sanji. horrible frostbite wow first off that originally killing him is crazy second off shout out to chopper's medical expertise wandering the land of ice that is very true i would say more of a quarter because his feet are equally as strong but bait him out hit his own arm that's huge the chopper get off turn into small form if that actually hit chopper i'll be butthurt See, he's not there. <laughs> or, like ca or like caves. Rumble with the jumping? 
Yep, he's gonna launch Chopper right into an arm point attack. Cloven Rosio. What the team? Bro, the team up so far this arc have been my favorite aspect of the fighting. Whether it's Zoro, Chopper, whether it's Zoro, Sanji, whether it's Frankie, Usopp, Brooke, Robin, Usopp, and Nami. Like, come on. I like that. I like that medical twist on it. That is not good. That is not good whatsoever. Now we have Frankie, Robin, Sanji, and Chopper out of the count. There go another two. Luffy has to show up any second now. Frankie, Robin, Brooke, Chopper, Sanji. Oh no. All right, this is the last episode of the session. This is 372. I stay forgetting. We lost Frankie, Brooke, Robin, Chopper, and Sanji. Technically four, because Luffy should hopefully show up any second now, but I don't know how we're going to be able to fight this. So do your thing. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to mean either, but... With the head, with the bell. Was he able to block it or stop it? Nope. He tanked that. My man Zoro's being a unit right now. Oh my, I love how we just saw the, sh the shade, the shadow right there. Oh, the salts. He's going to create an opening. We s I completely forgot we still have the salt. We just haven't been able to use it at all. If anyone's going to be able to hit this, it's going to be him because he's a sniper man. What are you going to do, Zoro? Going to use his gorilla mode. Two gorilla slash with the shoe sweep. I think he's blocking that. Oh, with the divert. And stuck in the rubble. Oh, I love when he does animal names in his attacks. The crow. And it looks like crow's feet that he just and left all those marks in his arm because we're going after his right arm that was sick i love his animal moves what is this roaring dragon whether it's a leopard gorilla the crow yeah zoro is out of the fight after that one if the sword leaves his mouth he's out the fight Boom. Zoro created the perfect opening. Hopefully it works. That was the salt. I pre... I wouldn't celebrate too early, though. And whenever you celebrate early, I don't like it because it usually means in anime it's not. That's broken. He had Moria had his shadow go in there and take the salt out, like of his esophagus. That's broken. That is actually kind of creative. I gotta give that to him. He's gonna throw it right back. And there goes our salt tactic. Now we have to leave. We have to... We have to have Luffy save us now. He's our last chance. Bro, is Luffy going to pull up and all his friends are just knocked out cold? I swear, every arc, Usopp takes the worst beating of anyone. Yeah, that's demented. 
Okay, I see Shadow Luffy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's got to be fast. Shout out Shadow Luffy. It's so weird hearing Luffy's voice actor or actress, technically, <laughs> portray both these. Luffy looking like that with a sword. This is going to be a crazy fight. I'm curious to see, like, are they on equal terms in terms of power? Or is Luffy going to be... He's a hundred shadows in him. He's going to hit a battle rifle? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. This might be the strongest Luffy we've seen. It has to be. Yeah, you're a fake imitation. <laughs> oh my sent him flying bro the way he caught that shit was so swaggy just I'm gonna slam him into the ground yep shout out luffy man I want to see Nami see the real Lola. I wonder if they could be friends too, you know? The Star of Hope's crew. Hey, shout out you guys. You guys gonna move us in a safe, uh, safe area? I never thought I'd be saying this earlier to the other Lola, but shout out to both Lolas, man. Oh, by the hair? He's a savage for that. How do you feel right now, Moria? This is not the roller coaster ride you thought you'd be going on, is it? My man Luffy is going pure savage mode right now. Nightmare Luffy. Only got a few more minutes of it. Nightmare Luffy. We're counting on you, Nightmare Luffy, as this man is fucking twirling oars around. Ooh, finally whips out the sword. Oh my god, he's clean with it. Shout out the skilled Navy Swordsman Shadow we have in us. It's about time you got your ass whooped, Moria. I don't think you have the speed to react with your shadow right now. I love how you can see Orz's belly ripple as his body can caves in on himself. Gum Gum Storm? It's my first time hearing that one. As he's rotating as well for extra kinetic energy. So our time is up. I mean, I'd like to say he won, but I'm not quite sure it's over yet. Ors does look knocked the f out. But what about Moria? We still Moria does look down. We we still got like 10 episodes left in this arc. Well, those episodes came and went so fast. I feel like we barely got a tease or a glimpse at Nightmare Luffy. I like that concept though about the it relying on willpower and you can stuff already pre-captured shadows that were leaving their purified zombies into someone for a little power boost because it's been established that your combat abilities mixed with the body already get combined so imagine like i, I remember last session someone commented that uh 
in chat that imagine if Zoro Shadow got put into Ryuma, this whole arc would be over. That's facts. You know, it's very interesting. But my man Nightmare Luffy put in work. He demolished Ors and Moria. But I don't like the preemptive celebrations because we still have some episodes in this arc left. So I don't know if it's over. Also, we got Kuma here. So I don't know if it's over. I'm very curious. I would be surprisingly shocked if we got a kuma fight as well like I, i'm not even gonna go into that but like i said i love these episodes i one thing i love a lot about this arc comparative to other arcs is a lot of the teamwork and combo abilities that we used whether it's chopper and sanji whether it's sanji and zoro whether it's the robin nami um usap and brook combo you know like a lot of i love a lot of these combo moves they even combine the little title names for them like when they're using their move because their, their teamwork is really great and the, what they're willing to do for each other. Like, I'm thoroughly enjoying that aspect. This is what I feel like to be the climax of this arc, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Shout out to Nightmare Luffy again. I got to hop into more episodes. I'm super excited. If you guys enjoyed these episodes, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, if you guys want 16 episodes early access or the full uncut versions, check out that Patreon down below. We're live on Twitch, super early watching all of these. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Um, we're going to drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad, and we're going to find the One Piece. Peace out.